Hi internet friends, it's Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Do you want to show accent walls that are on the diagonal in a cabinet module? This is the video for you. Let's get started. Alright, so I started off with a square box that I'm going to make 36 by 36. As I draw the box while I'm pressing the mouse key, mouse button, I hit my tab key and that pulls up this enter coordinates dialog box and I can make this exactly 36 by 36. I'm going to draw a um, line from tip to tip and I'm actually going to uh, hit the C key on my keyboard and pull that out. Uh, so that pulls it concentrically both in this direction and this direction at the same time. Now uh, I'm going to take that line and copy it and use my triangle to rotate it over. In this direction we've got this square bisected perfectly. Let's select one of these lines again and <clears throat> I started out trying with, okay, let's let's copy this every eight inches, uh, this line every eight inches, and it it didn't um, work out so that if I copy this line, my lines keep, if I copy this box, what I'm trying to figure out is how to copy this, these lines and this box so that if I copy another one over here, the lines just keep going, and if I copy another one up here, the lines keep going this way too. In order to do that, what I have to do is equally bisect, equally um, copy a number of lines in this direction, from this midpoint here out to this end point of this um, square. To do that, what I'm going to do is set up my multiple copy correctly. And when I click on multiple copy, I get my choices, three choices here in the lower left of my screen to uh, click sticky mode, this, this uh, pin thumbtack uh, looking icon is sticky mode, and then multiple copy interval, and then go back to main edit mode, which is just edit this line. Well, let's go back into my multiple copy and set up the multiple copy interval. I've already got it set up. Initially I had offset between copies when dragging is exactly 8 inches. But what I want to do is evenly distribute copies when dragging and I'm going to do three, uh, three number of copies in this direction. So I'm going to pull that over here and as I do that I don't need the one on the tip here so I'm going to just delete that last one and I can copy these two I could do multiple copy and go back that direction, or I can copy and mirror about this center. Again, I can just copy these four now and rotate 90 degrees. Now I've got an exact um, an exact uh, piece here. The square. If I were to trim all these lines to the square and copy them over here and copy them up here, this would just keep on going the way it's supposed to. Okay. Now I'm going to, I've already done it over here, I'm going to copy or, or make polylines around these construction lines that I created. And these polylines I'm going to angle right up to the the 36 inch square, the larger square. Okay. Um, I've made these three quarters of an inch apart. What I just did was took a, uh, a polyline and hit my tab key and my Y position. I'd make three quarters inch and then I can rotate this 45 degrees and plop that onto my construction line right there and then move well, maybe I, I want to move from here to the construction line. And then I can just bevel that and bevel this end, so to speak, and drag it up to my 
36 inch and there's once again that this shouldn't be any big deal or surprise to you you can make those um, poly lines now I'm in plan view to make a cabinet I want to um, or a cabinet door I want this to be an elevation so I'm going to go into my select contained objects mode here and shift around this uh, box now that's going to select all of these like grids if you will it doesn't select the lines because the lines extend past the box but I don't want the 36 by 36 inch box either so I'm just going to control or if you're on a Mac command and click on the box and now I've just got the lattice work command C and I've drawn a um, room let's go into a different uh, a different elevation and uh, come on elevation of a different wall and I'm just going to paste those uh, onto this these CAD polylines onto this wall so to speak here now it did pick up two lines here I want to delete those lines so now I just have that lattice work and now I can select those polylines and convert them to 3D solid here. I'm in X14, so um, if you're using past versions, you might not have this 3D solid option. You might have um, what's called 3D polyline solid or slab. Uh, as long as you can make a solid with a thickness, that's all we need to get to. Okay, 3D solid, click OK, and then I'm going to tell it 3 quarters of an inch thick. Okay, from here, and I've already done this once, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete that. Um, I wish I could select these objects and um, multiple objects. Oh, actually, maybe, maybe it's going to let me. I'm going to select all of these multiple objects and right down here I can convert the selected to a symbol. Ah, excellent, I can. Um, just convert this to a symbol and we're going to convert it to a cabinet door drawer. I'm going to call it my cabinet door accent panel add to library and show advanced options here. Accent panel, perfect. That's fine. Uh, I don't because I'm in the elevation. I don't need to show. Um, I don't need to show the. Uh, uh, oh wait, it looks like it might have selected the wall too. Let's cancel that. command and click on the wall and I jump back I jump from 11 to 10 objects and that tells me um, that I had indeed selected the wall so back to add selected convert selected to symbol uh, let's give it this name again accent panel add to library show advanced options click OK there we go this this uh, preview tells me I had selected the wall previously so I don't need to because I'm in the elevation my X Y and Z are oriented properly I don't need to um, adjust anything um, let's go to options let's just go to component and make sure um, accent uh, um, strips name that object and then click I can double click um, and go to plan materials and color white so that's the name of the object the surfaces and that's the default color that is going to drop in color white whenever I use this library object now sizing I really can't give it stretch zones um, so if I were to make panels different sizes from 36 by 36 say this stretches out like so it's gonna it's gonna stretch from here to here and the that angle is not gonna come in at 45 um, until I get 
this panel exactly as a square. So you may not be able to do that um, with your room sizes and with your ceiling heights, etc. Um, so that's one drawback of this method. I can't give it stretch planes because if I were to stretch it where in this place, let's say I were to stretch it between here, these would be exactly 45 if I stretch this panel out. Um, you know, I'd have 45 like so, but then this, this middle section in between would go, you know, weird shape and then I'd have my 45 X's this way so that that's not going to work either um, so I just have to leave it as it is okay and then I'm going to click OK to add it to my um, library now as you can see I've already got it saved in my library once um, but that's all right we're going to drop in a cabinet right here and let's go to plan view and move my elevation back so I can see this on the wall. Okay, there we go. Now let's update my cabinet to be three quarters of an inch thick. I'm going to turn off the countertop and the toe kick. I'm going to go into box construction and I'm going to make this an inset with zero clearance and front sides back. I'm going to do my left style of zero and my right style is zero. I'm going to delete this door, drawer I mean, and I'm going to delete my separations. Go into this panel and I also want to go into back and turn it to none. Left turn it to none and right turn it to none. Click OK. Let's do my door drawer handles. No door handles and front sides back. This is going to be go back to front and change this to a door panel so it's not hinged. All right. From here I can just take my library item. I've clicked it once. I think this might be new in Next 13 or I don't remember now. 14. It's a beautiful option. I can just click right there and if I were to make this 36 by 36 I'd have exactly what we drew earlier but as I mentioned if I drag this out like so it gets really weird you say, how did you get it to show this earlier at the beginning of the video? Well, let's look at that. So instead of one panel, what I'm going to do is open this box, open this cabinet box, go into my front sides back, and I'm going to start splitting. Uh, let's, let's delete that, delete that, split it horizontal, and then do some vertical splits here. Now what you do need to do, um, you'll notice, let's click OK, we've got these horizontal and vertical lines here, and this is starting to get closer, right? But uh, not quite there. Whoops, that's the wall. There's the cabinet. I'm going to open that up again. Go to my front sides back, and maybe I need to split that vertical one more time, and then click on my layout horizontal and equalize it. And then just go in here and delete some of these separations. Not some, all of them. Okay, we're going to delete that one. And now we're going to split this one horizontal a couple times. Or vertical. Let's equalize this layout and delete my separations. I left the original polyline 3D solids here so you can see it's not exactly 45 but they do all end uh, they're going to end right because that's the limits of the 
library object you we created is it will look like that all the time that's that's going to end right there all, always you're never going to get a um you're never going to get it as if it were cut like so top or bottom left or right um, it's always going to be that extent so if that's okay with you that works fine otherwise we do have to just go back to the manual um, uh, polyline like solids 3d solids or wall material regions if you if you really really want that 45 degree that's the way it has to be I'm going to open up this um, wall and go no room moldings interior so we turn off the baseboard there there's that view and there's the new view on the right as you can see my 3d solids are there so that's how you can do it with a um, cabinet panel. I hope this has been helpful. If you've learned something new, please uh, drop a like and a subscribe if you haven't already to get notified of these videos each time I drop them. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Have a great week.